Well, travel up and down the valley is going to be cold for anybody tonight and tomorrow. A reminder that after this, I definitely need to fill my gas tank. <laughs> yes, you want a full tank of gas. Otherwise, it might be hard to get it started up tomorrow morning. Actual temperatures mm -hmm. already headed down into the basement. When you tack on the wind, well, you got problems if you're going to be stepping outdoors. Here's a look outside. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too much different than what we have seen recently. Six below in Fargo, though. And then that wind chill already, again, getting down to that 25 below range in Fargo. Moorhead. We have clear skies and wind out of the north. That northerly flow coming in, bringing in that Arctic air for us for tonight. And here's again a look at those temperatures. 15 below in Roseau, 13 below in Thief River Falls, 12 below in Bemidji. Same thing over toward Grand Forks at this hour. And 15 below in Devil's Lake. Not as chilly, though. The farther south you are, we're still hanging on to zero degrees in Sisseton. But again, cold air moving in uh, from the north to the south. And with that, the wind bringing down our wind chills. 40 below is already what it feels like in Hallock and Devil's Lake also at 40 below for your wind chill there. 25 below again in Fargo, 24 below in Jamestown and over into Lakes Country, not as bad. We're at 19 below in Fergus Falls and 37 below in Roseau. Here's a look at those wind speeds. They're out of the north. No more gusts into the 20s, but we still have wind speeds into the teens, and I expect them to stay into those mid-teens at times throughout the overnight hours tonight. So that's going to continue to have an impact on us. Again, out of the north, 16 miles per hour in Grand Forks, 17 in Devil's Lake. Taking a peek at the radar, nice and quiet. No rain or snow or freezing drizzle to show you. That's been our big problem this winter. It's clear here. Bigger storm system again hitting parts of the east coast tonight more heavy snow from washington dc all the way up toward boston once again they're hit, getting hit another time by snow there here we've just got the really cold air pushing in overnight tonight the temperatures continue diving down into the teens even 20s mid 20s below zero by 8 a.m tomorrow morning mid 20s in the northern valley right around highway 2 north of there you can expect some mid 20s to start off your day southern valley right around 20 below to start off with that, those wind chills getting down, those are the areas you see with numbers in the, in the purple here, in the 40s. So 40 to 50 below at times through the overnight hours tonight and into the early part of the day tomorrow. That warning, that wind chill warning in effect until noon. As we move ahead toward the noon hour, temperatures rise slightly, maybe 5 degrees or so, into the double digits below zero. Still teens below and those wind chills not as bad, but still brutal. 30s below around the noon hour with partly cloudy skies. Wind still out of the north, northwest, and uh, gusting into the teens. Steady speeds in the single numbers uh, for us into the afternoon. Afternoon, and then we start to see things change. We're not going to warm up much at all tomorrow. It's going to be tough to climb out as such a low temperature to start off. Uh, but we'll warm back into the single numbers below zero for highs, seven below in Fargo and in Grand Forks in most places. But the wind, we're going to watch it switch to a more southwesterly direction, and that will start the recovery process. So this is going to be a one day deal where we see these temperatures get as low as they are. This is eight o'clock tomorrow night, teens below zero then, and we again start to drop into the late night hours. But eventually that wind will kick in and it'll start to bring in some warmer air for us just in time to start the work and school week next week. And in fact, temperatures really start to rise on Monday, 23 degrees, breezy day with some flurries north as a cold front moves through. And that 20 on Tuesday, I think we'll actually see our temperatures dipping through the day as the colder air pushes back in. So we get another cold surge of air for midweek, but certainly not as intense as what we're seeing tonight. So we just really have to get through tonight and tomorrow and then better weather is on the way if, if you don't like 20 to 30 below. <laughs> I think we can all kind of agree that maybe that's not ideal. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not, I think, most people's favorite weather. So we'll work our way out of it back into the 20s above by Monday. Big